Tax filing season is right around the corner. It is time to gather up necessary documents and get some refunds. Hey everyone, my name's Wei. In this video, I have compiled a quick checklist for you to prepare for 2018 tax filing. The due date for 2018 tax filing is April 15th, 2019. For those who live in Maine or Massachusetts, you have until April 17, 2019 to file federal income tax return. All right, let's get this checklist started. First thing first, gather your social security number, your spouse's social security number if you're married, and your dependent social security if you have any. If you filed taxes last year, get a copy of your 2017 tax return. Have your bank account information available so you can do direct deposit if that option is available to you when you file your taxes. If you have a foreign bank account, you have to report that if the account exceeds $10,000 at any given time during the calendar year. Next, have your income information ready. Get W-2s for anyone who worked in your household. If you had any debt forgiven or cancelled, you should have your 1099-C. If you worked as an independent contractor, you should have your 1099 MISC. If you received payments from IRA or any retirement plans, you should have your 1099-R. Make sure to include your Form 8606 with your 1099-R for your tax preparer to calculate taxable amount of the retirement distribution. If you sold any properties, you should have your 1099-S from closing. If you had investment gains or losses, interest gains, or dividends, you should receive your 1099-INT, 1099-DIV, 1099-B, or Schedule K-1 from your broker. If you received any Social Security benefits, you should have SSA-1099. If you received alimony, have a record of the total amount. If you own businesses or farms, have a profit and loss statement, and capital equipment information for depreciation calculation. If you had any rental properties, you should have profit and loss statement and suspended loss information. Suspended loss information is basically any loss that cannot be realized in 2018 tax year due to passive activity limitations. If you had installment sale, you need to report that in Form 6252. Make sure you have information on the principal and interest amount in addition to the social security and address of the payer. Be sure to have records for any miscellaneous income, such as jury duty, gambling winnings, medical savings accounts, and scholarships, etc. Let's move on to income adjustments. If you had student loan interest, you should have your 1098E from the lender. If you pay tuition, your school should issue you Form 1098T, capturing tuition paid. If you had teaching expenses, you can capture that with cancelled checks or receipts. If you made IRA contributions, make sure you have records of those. If you performed any energy efficient home improvement, such as solar installation or windows upgrade, make sure you have the receipts. Records of medical savings account or health savings account contributions if you contributed to them. If you're self-employed and had paid health insurance, have the payment records ready. If you relocated for a job, have the records of moving expenses. You should have records for alimony paid if that applies to you. If you are self-employed and have a tax deferred pension plan, such as KEO or SEPT, be sure to have records for any contributions there. Here are some other records you should have if you want to itemize deduction and potentially claim some tax credits. Have documents for taxes paid. This includes state and local taxes, real estate taxes, personal property taxes, and vehicle license fees. If you had child care costs, have the care provider's information, such as name, address, tax ID, and amount paid ready. Have your 1098T and education expenses record if you are attending school. If you adopt it, have your child's social security number, records of legal, medical, and transportation costs. Have Form 1098 if you paid mortgage interest, private mortgage insurance, or bought mortgage points. Records of your investment interest expenses, charitable donations, medical and dental expenses if you have them. If you had losses due to casualty or theft, have records of the amount of damage and insurance reimbursements. If you had a home office, 
have your home sites, your office sites, and any home expenses records ready. Records for union dues if you belong to a union, and unreimbursed employee expenses such as money spent on continuing education, publications, travel, etc. All right, we are done with the checklist. Hope this video can help you get ready for tax filing. Thank you for watching.